The adventure story begins by showcasing a planet where quite advanced aliens resided. These aliens were far ahead of humans in terms of technology. They had progressed significantly, but the only problem for those aliens was that females, meaning women, were completely extinct on the planet. This fact astonished them because if there were no females on their planet, their lineage would not continue. However, all male alien dummy females were used for their satisfaction. But now all these things had become quite critical. Therefore, the leader of those aliens called a meeting of the entire alliance, keeping all these things in mind. The leader was informing all the male aliens about females and how to behave with them. In the beginning, he gave all male aliens this training on how to behave. Because now the leader knew that to find females, they would have to go to the neighboring planet Earth where there were abundant females. Therefore, now the leader would choose one from many male aliens of his planet who would go to Earth, establish a relationship with a female, have a child with her, and bring the child back to our planet. This way, using the residents of Earth, we could advance our generation. The leader had explained to his alien companions how to behave with humans and everything was told. And now the leader chooses one alien from all of them whose name was Harold. The leader explained everything to Harold that you will go to Earth and establish a relationship with a girl. We have said everything for you. In fact, Harold's team had already seen a job in a bank company on Earth where he just had to go and do his job. Along with this, the leader also used to tell Harold that no matter what happens, humans should not know about us. Otherwise, we won't allow you to come back to our planet. And now all preparations had been made to send Harold to Earth. Here we see an airplane on Earth with all the passengers seated, ready to depart. Suddenly, both pilots noticed something strange appearing on their radar system. They couldn't understand what exactly it was that was rapidly approaching their plane. Now they had no other way but suddenly two bright lights appeared in front of their plane, passing by the side of the plane. Although the plane did not suffer any damage from all this, all the passengers started jumping out of their seats. Actually, the leader of the aliens had come to leave Harold in that plane. Both of them had gone to the plane's bathroom so that no one could see them. All passengers were scared and here Harold comes out of the bathroom and sits back on his seat as if nothing had happened. Within a few hours, the plane had landed and Harold came out straight from there. It was the same bank where the leader of the aliens had filed an application for Harold so that Harold got a job in the bank. In fact, all these things were done sitting on their planet. Those people hacked into the bank system and inserted all the data about Harold so that everyone felt that Harold had filed the application himself and he had been selected. Harold's place was shown to start working in the bank from today. Now, just in no time, Harold strikes up a good friendship with a man named Jack who was present there. Jack told him that he had recently got married. However, Harold noticed that Jack was also eyeing other girls quite attentively as if he wanted to spend time with them too. Harold started telling Jack that he also wanted some girls with whom he could spend time. Jack said to Harold that after work, I will take you to a club where many girls will come and you can choose any of them. It will be really fun, Harold. From then on, Harold was excited because he had not seen any girls for years since females had become completely extinct on their planet. Now he was excited to meet a girl. Jack directly took Harold to the club where many beautiful girls were present. Harold was excited for a while, but seeing so many girls, his mind was upset. After wandering around the club for a long time, Jack finally found a girl. So, he took her to the back room and after a while, when the club stopped, they saw the same air hostess who was seen in the plane. Now, both of them started talking to each other quite well. Then, Harold finally said that he wants to be friends with her and take the relationship further. The air hostess also did not refuse Harold and went inside the room with him. They were having a loving conversation when suddenly the air hostess receives a call from her husband. So, she tells Harold to leave from there as soon as possible because if her husband finds out that she is here doing all this, he will throw her out of the house. Meaning, Harold's plan completely fell apart. Now we are shown inside the same plane where Harold and his leader had arrived from their planet. The plane was being continuously inspected because when the plane was in the air, the pilot felt some strange light, which slightly disturbed the balance of the plane. Baggy, a police officer who was very intelligent, was chosen to thoroughly investigate all these matters. Baggy kept watching all the CCTV cameras and recordings present in the plane to see if anything suspicious happened. Then he noticed some light outside the plane and zooming in, he saw Harold's face. Now Baggy started suspecting Harold. So he decided to investigate further along with him. Baggy was also feeling that maybe the aliens are trying to come to our Earth now. Here we see Harold, who was met by another air hostess named Susan. Susan had come to do some work inside the bank. 
Harold quickly helps her and then later asks her if she would go on a date with him. After thinking a lot, Susan said yes to Harold and now both of them go on a dinner date which seems quite romantic. Harold directly tells Susan that I just want to have a child with you. Susan gets very thoughtful about this and brings Harold to her house. Susan was saying that I have made many mistakes in my life, but now I want to live a good life by getting married, meaning Susan was telling Harold that I am ready to marry you. Baggy was suddenly very eager to hear this. Because Harold's leader had not told him anything about marriage, Harold had to bring all these matters to confirmation. He goes to the washroom and contacts his leader telepathically who then arrives there. Harold tells him that he has liked a lady but she wants to marry him. Then the leader replies that he has absolutely no idea about all these things and it will be Harold's decision whether he wants to marry her or not. He only needs to bring a child from her to their planet. Now Errol was completely confused about what to do next. He flashes and goes to Susan. Now when Susan returns to the bank, Harold, after thinking a lot, tells her that he is ready to marry her and that he will keep her very happy for the rest of her life. Susan did not want to make such a sudden decision about her life. Therefore, she doesn't give Harold any answer at that moment and goes to her friends. Susan took a lot of advice from her friends on whether she should marry Harold or not, but in the end, she listened to her heart and called Harold to say yes for marriage. Harold becomes very happy with this decision. Within a short time, Harold and Jane's marriage takes place. Both were enjoying their life in a very good way and were traveling all over the place. But Harold had only one job, to return to his planet with Susan after having a child. But how could he openly say this to Susan? He repeatedly tried to come to Susan and asked when he would get the joy of becoming a dad. Susan was quite troubled by all these things and started saying that she doesn't have full control over her powers. If things continued like this, there could be cracks in their relationship. Harold was completely confused about what to do next because he had to take a child to his planet under any circumstances. Otherwise, there would be a big disgrace there. Now, Harold calls his boss there and takes all the advice on what he should do. Harold was telling his leader that he was very frustrated and now he would leave all these things and go back to his planet. But the leader clearly informed Harold that he couldn't return to the planet without completing his mission. Harold had to do only one thing, somehow bring a child and then leave. Harold was forced to do all these things now. Now, as time passed, Harold and Susan started living life as a husband and wife quite well. Their life was going quite smoothly, now it was also time for Christmas, which they both were enjoying together. Harold had never experienced all these things on his planet before, so being with Susan was quite a big moment for him and he never wanted to end this moment. One day, suddenly, Susan started having severe pain in her stomach. Harold, feeling that Susan was in a lot of pain, quickly put her in his car and started rushing towards the hospital because Harold was feeling how much pain Susan was in. Now Susan is brought to the operation theater where her operation is done to deliver the baby. For the first time, many doctors were present at that place because this case was completely different. Susan and Harold's baby was being born before time and these things were considered quite unique at that time. Harold was also present at that place which gave Susan the courage that everything would be fine. During continuous efforts, the doctors finally delivered Susan's baby. Harold was very happy holding his baby for the first time. He sees tears in Susan's eyes for her and for her baby meaning that their family was now complete in every way. At the same time, Harold decided that he would never separate Susan and her baby because Harold knew very well that his mission was to bring the baby back to his planet immediately, but now he did not want to do that at all. Outside the operation theater, Harold sees his leader who had come here to take the baby. But he didn't want Susan to be separated from her baby. Therefore, he decided that he would directly go back to his planet without doing anything else. First of all, Harold apologizes to Susan for all these things and now Harold had told Susan all the things truthfully that he was not a human but an alien. After hearing this, tears came into Susan's eyes that Harold had betrayed her, she couldn't understand anything that Harold was saying. Therefore, Susan asked Harold to prove to her whether he was an alien or not. Then Harold emits a little light from his nose, which no normal human could emit. Coming here, Susan was completely shocked about how all these things were happening. Outside the window, the police officer Baggy was also present, who was watching all these things. He had understood by now that Harold was an alien. However, he won't harm us humans, so now Baggy went to Harold's place. Coming there, he was praising him that you've done a good job. And I won't do anything to you. You can live peacefully on Earth. Harold was also pleased that finally he got permission from humans. But now, just in the next moment, the leader of the aliens comes before them. 
The leader was very angry at Harold for this deed. He told Harold that you have insulted our alien race in front of humans. We are far above human civilization and now Harold will be punished for all these things. The leader then took out his advanced weapon. But just then, the police officer intervenes, saying that as long as I am here, you can't do anything to Harold. He also takes out his gun, pointing it at the leader. When the alien leader says that none of your attacks will affect me, all attacks on my external body are absorbed like wolverines. So, all these things were of no use. Then, Harold tells Bach that you're not targeting his body, but the leader's heart. Saying so, he shoots at the leader's heart, making the leader unconscious as he falls into the water. Bach, the police officer, says that I'll take him with me, so that I can get a promotion because from this, humans will also know that aliens are real and I'll get all the credit. Then, Cezanne comes to Harold and says that even though you're an alien, I fell in love with your behavior and your soul and I am ready to stay with you. Then Harold says that after the leader's demise, all my alien friends want me to become their new leader and I will rule over all of them on my planet. Harold tells Cezanne that you should also come with me to my planet, where we will rule, but Cezanne clearly refuses, saying that all her friends and relatives are here and she has no idea how she will live there. She needed to give her son a good education and make him capable so she couldn't go with Harold to his planet. After saying such nice things to Cezanne, even Harold decided not to go to his planet and decided to live on Earth with his family. They begin to live happily with their son, who also has alien powers, which might grow even more in the future, leading to a happy ending. With this, our story ends here. So viewers, how did you like the story? Don't forget to tell us in the comments section and if you liked my explanation one as well. Then be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such fun and adventurous stories like this one. See you next time. Goodbye.